Hello, this is Ben Falk for KillerSites.com. In the next few videos, I'll be introducing you to JQTouch, a JavaScript-based solution for mobile web development on iOS, Android, and other mobile devices. In short, JQTouch provides developers with a way to create web apps that look and function like native iOS applications. JQTouch includes support for touches and swiping, animation, user interface elements, and themes so it's going to be very flexible for your use. In this video, I'll be introducing you to the JQTouch website and the demo they provide, as well as showing you how to preview JQTouch using a variety of methods. You can find the JQTouch website at jqtouch.com. At this site, you can download the source code, you can preview their interactive demo showing how JQTouch works, and you can learn about the features and functionality that JQTouch offers. Before I continue, I should also talk about what JQTouch requires. Specifically, it requires either the Zepto or jQuery libraries for it to function properly. And if you haven't heard of Zepto, and I hadn't before learning about JQTouch, basically it is a version of jQuery that's been optimized specifically for WebKit-based browsers. And uh, WebKit is sort of the basis for most mobile devices, um, specifically for devices on iOS and Android. So what it does is it provides the jQuery functionality in a smaller, lighter package, meaning that it's easier for users to download and it will make your application faster than using jQuery itself. So of those two, um, JQTouch recommends the use of Zepto over jQuery because of the size difference. And you can learn a little bit more about Zepto if you click the Zepto support link. It takes you to a blog post that explains it a little bit more. Now that I briefly introduced you to Zepto, let me go back and talk to you and demonstrate this little demo that JQTouch provides. Um, they provide this demo in two ways. Um, one, you can watch this little video to the left hand side of your screen here, and you can also preview this directly within the browser. So I would highly suggest if you want to preview this, that you do so in a WebKit based browser. Um, for example, something like Chrome or Safari. In my case, I like to use Chrome, so that I'll, that's what I will be using today. So I'm going to click the preview link, and this is what it looks like initially. I'm going to go ahead and change the size of the browser, change the size of the browser to fit more like a mobile uh, phone type uh, orientation and size. Um, so basically, what this is is this provides you with an interactive playground to learn all about what JQ Touch is, um, the features and functionality that they offer. And I'm not going to go over absolutely everything here because um, I'm sure you can explore this on your own. But I want to at least highlight a couple different things that JQ Touch offers. Um, the first thing that I want to talk about is themes. So JQ Touch supports two themes initially, which one is this base sort of black and gray and green theme and also they include this apple theme which has the standard blues and whites and grays that apple tends to use um, with many of their default applications secondly um, jq touch also supports various different events so for example swiping tapping or various page events um, like something animating in or animating at out etc and these work a little bit better when you actually preview them in a proper iOS device. Um, tapped works, but swipe doesn't really work um, unless you're actually using an iOS device or previewing using Xcode. Um, it also supports Ajax and provides samples for you showing how to integrate Ajax into your application. And uh, since I imagine that a lot of the applications you may be building will require some sort of interaction with the d database, this is pretty important. And uh, um, I found it very useful. They had samples showing you how to put this into action. Also, um, they have support for various animations. For example, um, sliding one page into the next, sliding one page up, and uh, flipping between one page and the next. Um, that one's a little bit harder to see, but obviously these aren't exactly the same animations that Apple offers, um, but it's pretty much what we were able to do based on the limitations of CSS3 and 
the transitions that we're able to make using that. And as it mentions down here at the bottom, you can actually make custom animations as well if you want to add your own additional ways to, tr uh, to move between pages. And finally, let me talk about user interface for a moment. It supports various different layouts for the user interface, including this sort of table-based layout where everything has a label and um, items are arranged in rows. Also has this edge-to-edge -edge layout without the edges between items. It has a plastic layout, which basically means things sort of have a flat appearance. And also a metal version. Um, this one's a little bit harder to see. If I go back to the JQ Touch theme and take a look at the metal interface, you'll notice that looks a little bit more realistic. So obviously, the styles that JQ Touch provides are sort of just the base layer for you to work off of. And since everything's done with JavaScript and CSS, it makes it very easy for you to change out and uh, make modifications to what they've done. In addition to this demo, let me also introduce you to the um, tutorials and support that JQ Touch offers. So if you go back to jqtouch.com, you can also take a look at the uh, source code issue tracking and docs on GitHub. So if you click that link, it'll take you to the GitHub page. Um, basically, this is all the code um, sort of stored for JQ Touch. And if you take a look near the top of the page, there's a wiki section. So I would t suggest taking a look at that. Um, they have various articles on getting started, uh, theming, extensions, all various different functionality that JQ Touch offers. So if you're looking for a little bit of additional information, I'll take a look here first. Finally, I want to talk a little bit about how to preview JQ Touch. Um, ideally, you know, you're going to have a Mac or you have an iOS device. And that's really sort of the ideal situation. Um, ideally, you'll have an iPhone or iPod Touch that you'll be able to look and preview your websites in as you're developing so you can see actually what they look like. In addition, there are a couple other ways that you can do it. If you have a Mac, um, you can take a look and preview this using Xcode. And let me talk about that briefly. And you can download Xcode in one of two ways. The most recent version, Xcode 4, can be downloaded using the Mac App Store. And I realize that not everyone has the Mac App Store, so let me also introduce a different way to get that as well if you want to get an older version um, that if you don't have access to the Mac App Store. So if you go to connect.apple.com and I'm actually already logged in but basically you'll go ahead and sign up for a free Apple developer account. Um, you'll just provide your username and a password and it's going to get you access to this download section. So you're going to be able to go to the developer tools let me uncheck these and it'll update here. And you'll notice that you're able to download all sorts of the older versions of Xcode even if you don't have access to the Mac App Store. So with that in mind, um, let me actually show you how to work with Xcode in preview JQ Touch projects. And the easiest way to do it once you have Xcode set up is to use their iOS um, application specifically for previewing iOS apps. So if I go to my applications folder, um, let me actually open this up and I'm going to show you how to get at the specific application that you want to use. Now you could open Xcode and um, create a tempo temporary project to preview stuff with, but there is a little bit of an easier way. So if you access Xcode and go to show package contents, Go to Contents, Developer, uh, Platforms, iPhone Simulator dot Platform, Developer, and Applications. This is the iOS simulator, and I'm going to go ahead and drag that into my bar here. And if you click on it, it'll pop up an actual iOS simulator for you to work with. And um, if you don't have access to an actual iOS device, this is really the second best method um, how to preview things. 
So for example, you can open up Safari, and I have JQ Touch here ready to go. Um, if you hold down Alt, that'll give you the zooming functionality by moving the mouse. So I'm going to go ahead and preview, and for example, this is JQ Touch demo as it would look like in an actual iPhone. So that could also come in handy. And finally, if you don't have an iOS device or a Mac, I would suggest simply previewing things in a WebKit-based browser, uh, for example, Chrome or Safari. Um, it may not be absolutely perfect, and I, you know, as I said, it, ideally you work with a Mac or you have an iOS device, but this is a fallback method if you don't have access to either of those two options.